Apart from her talents, Red Velvet's Irene has been known for her stoic expressions around men. It often leaves people wondering, is she really scared of them or is she just naturally uncomfortable? And why does she seem so cold? What's the real truth and what's just K-pop gossip? These are the reasons why Red Velvet's Irene has a full right to not feel herself around men. Unnecessary touching. As an idol, Irene has come in contact with other idols quite often. From just passing by each other at events to actually engaging and working with them, she meets a lot of people on a daily basis. When it comes to women, there seems to never be a problem. She enjoys their presence and seems to be really nice. However, when it comes to men, our sweet Irene completely changes her behavior. It's not as if she's straight up rude to them, she just looks uncomfortable and sometimes slightly annoyed. In some situations, I can't even blame her. Back in 2017, Irene appeared on Ansan Friendship Super Show as an MC alongside rapper Sun E and Got 7's Jackson Wong. At one point, Irene was smiling and waving at her fans, but her smile suddenly faded once Sun E put his arm around her shoulder and stuck his tongue out at her fans. She looks at him kind of startled and baffled by his actions, but he kept on smiling, looking pleased with himself. He probably didn't even realize he did something wrong and made her feel completely uncomfortable. Even though the action was probably innocent with no ill intention, it's not cool to just touch someone without their permission, especially if you don't know that person very well and they have a reputation of not liking it. And if it was not for Jackson, he would probably cross some boundaries again. The disgusting mistreatment. Being a female idol is definitely not an easy job. Always staying on alert is a must in our everyday lives. When it comes to public appearances, the companies usually prevent unwanted things from happening by giving their groups extra bodyguards, but it's harder to protect someone on the internet. On the 19th of June, 2020, screenshots of a man inappropriately talking to Irene started appearing on social media. The screenshots were taken on Listen Bubble, which is an app created by SM Entertainment for fans to communicate with their idol. One day, Irene sent a message to a fan saying, I want to eat something refreshing. It's too hot. The normal answer would be something on the lines of advising her to eat ice cream, right? But of course, one male fan had to be creepy and make her uncomfortable. To her message, he replied, if it's too hot, take it off. Send me a selfie of you without clothes. I wish I could say she never read the message, but unfortunately, she did. In response, she sent him a sticker of a cat that looks scared. Who knows how many times she had to read messages like this. Companies should work more on providing safer spaces for both idols and fans so no one ever feels uncomfortable. Saying the wrong things. There's nothing wrong with having a bad day, but if you are a celebrity, people might just make a big deal. Combine it with people making jokes that are more annoying rather than funny, and you have a disaster waiting to happen. Irene definitely has a few stories up her sleeves about that. In 2017, Red Velvet appeared on a Korean entertainment show, Weekly Idol, to promote their album, Perfect Velvet. The MCs of the show, Doni and Kony, have been in the past accused of not treating idols very nicely, from saying things that were uncalled for or just being harsh on them during games. When Doni was asked what the title song Peekaboo means, Irene kindly answered him. After nodding as he understood, he then once again asked what the song meant. And boy, the look Irene sent him was pretty scary. She looked annoyed because she just answered him, and he was asking again like he wasn't listening at all. However, it all turned out to be a misunderstanding. Doni wasn't actually asking the meaning of the title, but just the story of the song in general. After making sure Irene isn't actually mad at him, the rest of the show went smoothly. Well, misunderstandings like that can happen at any time, but then there was another one. 2017 rolled in and Irene's stoic expression made men crumble in fear again. The group went as guests on Knowing Bros, where one of the segments of the show is called Guess About Me. Idols usually prepare several questions related to their life that might not be known to the public and the hosts have to guess the answer. One of Irene's questions was, what was the most memorable thing about her trip with her family? One of the hosts, Kong Holdong, trying to be funny, answered that it was most likely something like, they rented four bikes but only returned three. The room erupted in laughter, but it soon died. Once he looked at Irene and saw how serious her expression was, he immediately apologized to her. Just one look from her and it left him sweating in fear. On that same day, Hee Chal, who was another host of the show, was also on the receiving end of her deathly stare. In one of the activities they did, Irene was asked to jump rope. That's not so hard, right? Well, not if you were wearing normal shoes, but to make it harder for Irene, she wore acupressure slippers. As she was jumping, the rope hit her and 
ouch. She even teared up a little bit and he told, asked her if she was in pain because of the slippers. After telling him no, it was just because of the rope hitting her, he still insisted it was the slippers and oh boy, he shouldn't have done that. Irene got defensive and angrily repeated that it was only because of the rope. Poor he Chug got so scared and with apologies, slowly backed away. Obviously, Irene wasn't really mad at him, maybe a bit annoyed, but it was all just fun. Well, I think it's safe to say the power of her gaze is no joke. However, these incidents are just an example that Irene might not see everything the same way as others, which is completely okay. We all kind of have a different humor and we should respect that, right? She might just be tired. Like every other person, even idols are sometimes not in the mood. Having to look happy all the time, even though you feel the complete opposite, is hard and can get pretty tiring. If you know Irene, you surely notice she's a really sweet and happy person in general. But if there's not a reason to be all smiles all the time, what's the point? Not only agencies, but also people are putting too much pressure on idols. Wanting them to be perfect and without any flaws, of course sometimes it just becomes too much, and having too much on your plate is not good for you. Irene is one of the few idols who is often presented as someone who has no emotions, people even calling her an AI because sometimes she seems almost unreal. Irene just has a resting face and unfortunately that makes her look as if she's constantly annoyed. I know that some people mostly make jokes about her hating men and don't look for any hidden meanings, but still, you never know if all these accusations of her being cold don't bother her. What do you think? Do people read too much into these situations or does she really have a problem with men? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.